British Consulate. This is Namde Kano. Over the matter of his extrajudicial detention. Hello, viewers, welcome to my chat. According to the news of today, British consulate visited Namde Kano in DSS dungeon. And this was done because they want to discuss the matter of his extra judicial detention and the illegal kidnap from Kenya by the same British government and their collaborators, the Nigerian government, with those doing everything possible to become leader and the so-called uh, Igbo government. They continue to sample you several pictures to deceive you that Namde Kano is heady in DSS custody. They continue to sample you old pictures when he was in sorrow. As he was being tortured in Kenya. That picture is what some people are going around tweeting everywhere just to deceive you. No doubt the British consulate visited him to discuss his predicament. But the question is this. What sorry guys, what are they trying to achieve? Do they visit him? Do they visit him because they want to get Nigerian government to lose him? Or they visited him because they are planning something else? This is a question we should ask because everything was not made known. I am a man who said it is the way I see it. I believe in practical, not in theory. Unlike some cowards who are parading themselves everywhere as leaders want to be. None the kind of suffering is getting too much. In fact, nobody knows who to trust anymore. That is the truth. You can't even trust even his own brothers with what is happening. We saw him when he came caught last and how he was looking. After some time, he stopped coming to court after he was released and the Nigerian government refused to release him. Today, the British consulate has visited him. And we are going to tell them what we have in our mind. I don't know for others, but the truth must be told. And only that truth will set us free. Kidnapping of Namde Kano from Kenya, like I've always said, is a collaboration something between the Kenyan government, the British government, the Nigerian government, the Igbo governors, and some criminals in Despera. I don't know what they were trying to achieve 
But you can see what is happening today. Someone will go to somewhere and be interviewed and he will claim he's the leader of IPOB. That's not the Calumet leader. A lot of things is happening here. A lot of things is happening here. All I know is that British government have plan B and that plan B they are implementing in Biafra land. And believe me, they don't want to listen to Namde Kano because he has refused to accept their offer. British government are corrupt. Very, very corrupt. They created a corrupt government for Nigerians. And this is what we are seeing today. A president will come out since 2015. He will openly disobey court order. He will openly. This regards the constitution made by the people too who happens to be military men there. Or should I say who was military men there? Or who we are? I'm not a British man. So I'll put my English very gentle. Who we are? The military men there. They created that constitution. And today, you can see that the constitution is not being respected and the president has refused to obey court order because there are so many cabals and the British government who are telling him not to do so. This is what we should be discussing. Now some lunatic is telling police that uh, none the column made them leader. When he made the bill, that none of us know about it. I see Biafra struck is now. When you go somewhere, you bring one idiot from pit of air, you make him leader. Without others being aware of it. I will say one thing here. I see blame. I pubic somehow. Because it's quite unfortunate, quite surprising that a leader of such group will travel to Kenya and the head will not know about it. As a leader, the defense is supposed to be monitoring him because he is the one carrying everything on his head. This is why most of the government cannot be taken on unawares because their defense always monitor them wherever they go to, even when they are asleep. Nande Kano is a leader of millions of Biafra for Christ's sake. And this is why I am finding it difficult to believe that his brothers were not aware that he was heading to Kenya. And with the kind of thing his secretary said, it is obvious that his brothers were aware that he was heading to Kenya. He may not be the one in Nigeria, but the one in Germany. But I will tell you people one thing today. <laughs> no matter who you think you are, no matter who you claim you are, if Nande Kano dies, all of you, including his brothers, none of you will go free. We will help you to destroy this struggle. I have look, I am a man who believes in practical. There is no room for sabotage in this struggle. If anything goes wrong, Many of you 
who are now busy dragging his position will go down one after the other. Both the people supporting you. I will, if that is what I will do with my last Kobo. And if at the process of doing it something happened, I will not mind, but I will make sure that so many of you go down. This is not a threat, it's a promise. Some of you don't know who I am. It's a promise. The so-called British consulate went to visit him in DSS custody. But the question is, why is he visiting him? Is he that he, the consulate, does not know that his country, people, government, has been part of those keeping him in DSS custody for no reason after he was released by court of laws in different courts in Nigeria and that thing in Asso Rock has continued to disobey that court order and tomorrow you call him president president of which people? a man who is not honorable enough to keep his promise can never be president of anybody but time shall tell what did he do? Nothing. He is fighting for the freedom of his people. That's all. As usual, Igbos always betray their own. And when they betray, they will lie to. If they start tort torturing them, they will say that people are against them. How can a man, he lives like a man, kidnapped, and one idiot somewhere in Finland? He's busy dragging his position, telling the police that he is the leader, that he gave him the position. Just watch and see. All these things people are doing about the police arresting this, are doing this, releasing this. You can say I have not done that news here because I'm not that kind of man. I'm not a man who's, who smiles in people's sorrow. No. If I want to deal with you, when I leave hand that, that you are the cause of this, a lot of things will be involved. And some are very lucky that this period after I left Colombia, things are somehow difficult. It's not like I used to. If not by now, many people will drop in somewhere for the atrocities they have committed against this man. Tell British government the reason and the canon. This is what we have to tell the so-called consulate. Enough is enough. Everything has continued to go wrong in our land because some people believe they can do anything and go free with it. But we will not allow that to happen. Mark it somewhere. I think I've come to the end of this news. Mind you, my channel is blocked for some time. This is the channel I'm using for now. You can also subscribe to this channel if really you believe in my ideology. Jay Biafra.